I was never gonna be a man's physique. Didn't have much of an off season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. I wanted to, so last time we spoke, you know, you kind of anti-sugar now, right? You're saying that sugar can actually potentially cause cancer. I've seen some of your videos lately, and I feel like you're also saying that uh, potentially a lot of animal protein can also cause cancer. Um, that's important. Well, you know, the, the, the thing, Vlad, you know, listen, we're all, if, if you sit down with a lot of, like, people, like, they have the right head on their shoulder and nutrition or even on life in general, you know what I mean? We call it, we, we can all agree on something, you know what I mean? Anything ex in excessive, it's not good, you know what I'm saying? So when I when I talk about sugar, listen, sugar is in everything, man. I mean, they're putting in everything. Do you really need it? No. Well, guess what? Since, you know, since I get out of the hospital, right, 2018, I have not had one piece of sugar. Now, do I have something sweet? Yeah, I have some maple, you know, maple syrup, organic maple syrup on some rice cake with some, you know, almond butter or some. You know, I have my little dessert my way. You know what I'm saying? Or I have like an organic ice cream, you know, but sugar, table sugar, Pepsi, the stuff I used to, never, never again. And guess what? I'm living. I sleep better. I can guarantee you this. All what they have to do, whoever listen to us here, just stop sugar, stop table sugar, right? Just stop it for five, six days. I can guarantee you you'll get better sleep because you don't run to the bathroom as much. You know what I'm saying? So it, sugar, I, I am against sugar. And I'm talking about like the refined sugar, like the bad sugar. You know, I'm not talking about like, you know, uh, good stuff like a maple syrup or, you know, like or your fruit. I mean, as a matter of fact, there is a study now. People made fun of me about the sugar. There is you can just Google it. All what you have to do, just Google, say, hey, fresh juice cause any problem. They say glass of fresh juice. Listen to this. OK, glass of fresh juice can actually increase your risk of cancer fresh juice so that means god want us man to have the apple they want us to have the orange they don't want us to have the juice because you have the fibers in them everything so it makes it nice and easy slow and the same thing like i said if you get a bunch of people and and sit down and talk to them they will all agree with you okay that if you go more than 25 percent of your daily caloric intake from protein you're going to have some type of problem. They, they can laugh at me or do whatever they want, but it's been proven that, you know, for longevity, it's not good to have more than 25% animal protein. So, you know I mean, that, that affects bodybuilders because they eat a lot of animal protein, obviously, right? Clearly. But, but, but honestly, there is, there is no reason, man. Like, like when I told people, listen, like some lady was asking me <clears throat> from an audience in one of that seminar I did, I told her for an example, I was giving her an example that 30 grams of protein for her because she's 100 pounds. And everybody's like, oh, my God, you can have more than 30. Dude, I'm saying this to the lady. I understand, you know, for a bodybuilder who's a big guy, you can have 40 and 50 and 60 gram. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is I found out because of my kidney problem years ago, 20 years ago, I didn't really didn't need that much protein, you know. You don't really need that much. That's why I took somebody like Kai, you know, from a pound of meat at each seating to have only, you know what I mean, six ounces. Now, the six ounces, of course, they have, you know, 40 some grams of protein in it. We're talking, you know, measured after cook. But that's Kai. He's 290, 300 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So you're still looking. He's getting about like one gram, one gram plus per pound. But not like these guys want to do, like 600 grams. Of, for what? It's not going to do you any good. It's going to put, you know, like it's going to wreak havoc. And everybody said, well, study, so and study. Listen to me. Show me one study. Show me one study. They're talking about high protein with the use of anabolic steroid. And it's not causing a problem. And then I can believe you. But guess what? There is a reason, right? There is a reason when they, they say where there is a where there is smoke, there is a fire, right? There is a reason a lot of the bodybuilders they have kidney problem. What's the reason? The use of anabolic and high protein intake. Period. Period. General rule for bodybuild for anybody who wants to build muscle basically is per 
per pound of, of how much you weigh. Say you weigh 200 pounds, you're supposed to eat 200 grams of protein per day. Yeah, but, but you see, people, but the problem is, listen to me, man. Listen, I have a great company for protein. And, you know, if I was like the rest of the people, I want to push protein. But, dude, if you, I see literally people, okay? I see people, they're taking, you know, they're taking eight. Are you back? <laughs> okay. So I see people, they're literally taking, you know, eight ounces chicken with salad, rice, and all that stuff. And then they drink a scoop of protein. Why? Why? Yeah, I want to push protein to sell it, but that's not not, not an expense of the people, man. Again, her. It's, you really don't need, listen, anybody will tell you that they work with me, okay? Anybody will tell you, hey, here's Danny. Danny Yunan, you won't believe it. You guys can ask him. He can put his, his thing. He just won the New York Pro. He weighed, you know, 200 pounds. That's what he's supposed to weigh. He weighed 199, right? And I give him maximum four, maybe sometimes with because there's no carb at night. I'll do five ounces of meat. There's no reason for more than that. So I don't know where these people come out, like taking three, 400 grams of protein and they're 150 pounds. I don't get it.